you'll be surprised to know that most people sell their rental properties or stop investing in real estate precisely because they don't want to deal with the handyman stuff but hey who said this was going to be easy you want to invest in your first rental property but you don't know how to turn that into a millionaire business and where to start from well I am here to tell you how in a crisp fashion today. My name is Balaji Badrinath and I welcome you to my channel today. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications for more videos like this one. I had also given a link below in the description in a detailed article on whatever is said here today. Without further ado, let's begin. You definitely don't want to be that guy who purchased a property for rental which no one wanted to rent in the first place. To avoid that, I have designed this guide with you in mind. I want you to follow these tips closely and see the results for yourself. The first thing you should know is develop a landlord mindset and you should be able to do so way before even you purchase the property. If you have ever lived in a rental property yourself, you might know that we are not in a high technology science fiction movie where houses are automatic and they clean after themselves. You will be surprised to know that most people sell their rental properties or stop investing in real estate precisely because they don't want to deal with the handyman stuff. But hey, who said this was going to be easy? Next, before investing, you should also pay any kind of personal debt. An expert real estate investor should carry uh, debt as part of their investment portfolio and that's a very smart move. But not all real estate investors have a portfolio or masters of the art of the debt either. So if you are just the average buyer, I highly advise you to pay down your personal debt as much as you can. That means credit cards, any kind of loans, unpaid medical bills and other kind of debt. Now my next recommendation is to get your numbers right before you start and line up your financing. What's the financial instrument you'll be using for your investment? Are you going to be purchasing your rental property in cash or are you going to use a mortgage? Should you choose a 15 year or a 30 year mortgage, a fixed rate or adjustable rate? To better weigh the true cost of your financing options and online tools such as Bank Bazaar lets several lenders compete uh, for your loan. You can also consult with a financial advisor with a specialty in real estate or an expert on the topic like me to better understand how much you are really going to be paying. The next step is a fun one but also a very important one. The secret source of real estate is none other than the location of your property. You could have a massive building for dirt cheap prices but if it's located in a terrible neighborhood with clogging drains and bad infrastructure then absolutely no one is going to live or conduct businesses there, turning your investment into a failure. A good location is one that has a lot of development, low property taxes, a decent school nearby and parks, malls, restaurants and movie theatres, low crime rate and high employment rates should be also well thought of. Through online, you can search for these strides in the locations you are interested in purchasing. I have also have another video talking about the best neighborhoods in Bangalore and other interesting tips for real estate investors. So check those out for more guidance. Now is the time when you consult with a property consultant. Ask questions and getting the proper information from them is essential to a good investment. Ask them about the average rent in the area and how much an investment property like yours might actually rent for in these areas. You can of course also find that online but my personal tip is to go and ask a property consultant directly. Next, you should get a property inspection. An inspection done by someone who knows what they are doing will point out all the red flag items that might end up costing you lakhs of rupees after you already purchase a property. If there are few things which they are not in order as they should be in your investment property, that would instantly bring the value down. It is important to also keep in mind that the results of the home inspection can be used during the negotiation stages of your rental property purchase. Whether it's a reduction in price or asking the current owners to put on something new before purchasing, the inspection is a vital part of completing your due diligence. Make sure the land which you had zeroed in has all commercial approvals in place and the zoning code is right for suitable use and ensure your builder architect team presents you a perfect plan for a great rental yielding building plan as per the neighborhood strengths. But you know what? You can do this after you have more experience in the real estate investments. But for your first rental property, the best idea is to go with one that's ready to go. You will learn plenty of valuable lessons throughout your experience of uh, buying your first real estate. This will give you a better idea of what you would be getting into with a potential rental property. 
those were my exclusive tips on how to invest in a rental property drop me a comment down below and let me know if this guide was useful to you and also don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on the notifications for more incredible tips guides and life hacks uh, of real estate in bangalore i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one